In this podcast episode, I'm going to give you one technique that can totally shift your mindset. Like me or someone that struggles with the mental health. Yes, I know it's a pain in the ass, but you are not alone. As you'll see from this podcast. Hi there, my name is James, and thank you so much for checking out my podcast, Dad Mind Matters, helping men to safely navigate family life without losing their minds. I set up this podcast because I really want to create a community that supports parents and maybe even specifically more dads and maybe more specifically than that, dads like myself who struggle with OCD. Following a CBT course I did in 2010, I was told I had pure OCD. This made a lot of sense and since then I've been working on strategies to make sure that it doesn't negatively impact my life. That's much easier said than done and some days... It can be completely debilitating and some days it can be mildly annoying. But the one technique that I've learned and have found that has been really effective is having a freezing cold shower. If I wake up in the morning ruminating about something that happened in the past or worried about something in the future and just can't get my mindset out of it, the one thing that I have have learned that is absolutely effective is a cold shower and not like a mildly cold shower like as cold as you can take water cold shower and obviously a bit of a medical disclaimer if you're not sure whether or not you should be taking freezing cold showers maybe check with your doctor first and it might be something you need to build up which is what I've done I used to have a normal shower and in the last couple of minutes I've had as cold water as I can stand and that was effective but what I found is even more effective of just basically absolutely smashing any rumination or paranoia or fear or intrusive thoughts is to basically step into really cold water and obviously this is something I've built up to and it's not easy but the thing I've had to do is instead of adjusting the shower knowing it's going to be cold opening the shower door gingerly stepping my toe in the thing I found that you have to do And like anything, the more you do it, the easier it gets. It's just go in, just walk into that cold water. Be brave. Just put your head under that cold water. And I always count down from 10 to 0. And then I'm okay. It's not easy. But I feel utterly re-energised after doing it. I can feel like I'm a different person. Not only does it really calm my often anxious mind, but it just gives me this energy to get on with the day. A freezing cold shower just... It's like a shield. It just basically gives me an energy. It's like Bradley Cooper in Limitless. Freezing cold water, and I don't know biologically what it does to you, but for me, it's the closest thing to that Limitless pill. And I have studied it. The high that you get from really cold water, the last hours, as opposed to the high you get from a cup of coffee, it's not easy to step into freezing cold water, but it gets easier. And while I'm doing it, I often say to myself, Act, don't think. Don't think about it, just do it. And what you might find is when you start doing really difficult things, like putting your body into freezing cold water, it challenges everything else in your life that you think is difficult. You suddenly think, well, what else can I do that I'm putting off that is actually just difficult? It's having the strength of character to put yourself into positions where you keep making the right choice, where you keep doing the difficult thing, so that after a while your body gets to realise, well, actually, my mind's in charge. The mind is the general, the body is the troops. Keep doing it. At the time of this recording, it's Sunday morning. I'm about to go to jiu-jitsu. Do I want to go to Brazilian jiu-jitsu as opposed to sit on the sofa and have a nice cup of coffee? No, but by doing it, I know that afterwards I'll feel a million times better. I really hope you got some of this podcast. And as I said, I'm generally trying to create a community that supports people who struggle with OCD. And like any group or community, it's much more interesting when there's two-way conversations. If you'd like to join my mailing list and would like my video course, How to Become a Less Stressed Parent, absolutely free, just go to my website, www.dadmindmatters.com. I really hope you got something in this podcast. And if, like me, you struggle with a mental illness or OCD, and you might feel brave enough to have a chat with me about it and share what things work for you to make your life easier, please email me at mydadmissions at gmail.com. I hope wherever you're in the world, you're okay. Take care. Like me or someone that struggles with the mental health Yes, I know it's a pain in the ass But you are not alone As you'll see from this podcast